Everyone is very, very excited by the mythical idea of solid state batteries and how they will change the electric vehicle industry. But in my view, what is far more important are incremental, continual, yearly, or even monthly improvements to our existing battery technology. This new technology goes a long way towards improving the energy density and the lifetime use of lithium ion technology. In fact, researchers are enabling very fast charging and extending the battery life of current lithium ion battery technology simply by using or adding this new material to our existing batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you here and welcome back Everyone else, thank you for tuning in, my friends. This week, there's been some fascinating new battery technologies revealed to the market. Boy, is it an exciting time to be alive. And this is another one. What I just discovered was a new technology which enables incredible ability to extract lithium carbonate from lithium brine at much lower prices, at much higher speed. Game changer. If you haven't seen that video, you need to check it out. Now, if you want to come and see me present and talk about these new technologies and where the industry is headed, which companies will fail and possibly go bankrupt and which will succeed, meaning which ones you should maybe consider investing over others, make sure you come along to the fully charged live show in Sydney. It'll be in Australia for the first time. And I'll be there presenting in March next year. You can get tickets to the show for a 10% discount if you use my promotion code, and I'll put that code in the description below. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. With the electric vehicle revolution taking shape, efforts in research and development of lithium ion battery technology are happening constantly. It is so exciting. Amazing stuff is happening. People don't realize the naysayers are just, you know, you know what they're saying? They're saying, oh, batteries are gonna be more and more expensive. The EV revolution can't happen. There's not enough lithium. Ah, ah. That's the kind of thing they're saying. I'm telling you now, that is 100% wrong. Please, don't make me tell you this again because I have told so many people this who send me emails saying why it can't happen. But it is happening and it will happen. And here's yet another reason. Here's yet another way that entrepreneurs have figured out another solution. And these solutions... These new strategies, these new techniques are coming so fast, I could not possibly report on all of them. There are so many people, so many very smart people working on how we can have better batteries, lower prices that will charge faster and last longer. Titanium diboride nanosheets as an anode material? Yes, this is a thing. To ensure that this battery technology is developed, research has to focus on extending and expanding rapid charge discharge technology and battery life. These are the two major weaknesses of lithium ion batteries. If you rapid charge them, you know, if you go to your supercharger station and you rapid charge all the time, that's gonna decrease your battery life. There's a few factors that can help overcome these issues and achieve fast charging and ultra long life. For example, the diffusion of lithium ions characteristics of the electrode electrolyte interface and electrode porosity. In recent years, another solution and potential anode material has emerged for lithium ion batteries, 2D nanomaterials. These materials are thin sheet like structures that have a thickness of only a few nanometers, very, very thin. And they possess a high aspect ratio and high density of active sites. And this enables fast charging and superior cycling performance. 2D nanomaterials that are based on transition metal diborides or TMCs are of particular interest to researchers as TMDs have a high rate and long cycling stability for lithium ion storage. This is due to their honeycomb plates of boron and multivalent transition metal atoms. Because of this, a group of scientists led by Professor Nariyoshi Matsumi from the Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, or AIST, and Professor Kabir Jasuya 
from the Indian Institute of Technology have analyzed the potential of TMDs for energy storage. The team recently led the first experimental study on the storage potential of titanium diboride, or TB2, in the form of hierarchical nanosheets as an anode material for lithium ion batteries. The study titled Titanium Diboride Based Hierarchical Nanosheets as Anode Material for Lithium Ion Batteries was published in ACS Applied Nanomaterials. The study discovered some very interesting things. The researchers developed the THNS by oxidizing TIB2 powder with hydrogen peroxide, followed by centrifuging and freeze drying the solution. This had some profound effects. Professor Josuya explained that the development method is groundbreaking, stating, what makes our work stand out is the scalability. What makes our work stand out is the scalability of the method for developing TIB2 nanosheets. Of course, scalability is crucial to mass manufacturing and product. For any nanomaterial to translate into a tangible technology, scalability is the limiting factor. Our synthesis method only requires stirring and no sophisticated equipment. This is an account of the dissolution and recrystallization behavior exhibited by TIB2, a serendipitous discovery that makes this work a promising bridge from the laboratory to the field. The team found that the THNS-based anode showed a high discharge capacity of 380 milliamp hours per gram with a current density of just 0.025. And there was potential that there was potential that a discharge capacity of 174 milliamp hours per gram could be achieved for a high current density of one amp per gram with a 10 minute charge time and a capacity retention of 89.7% after 1000 cycles. The team discovered that the THNS based lithium ion anode could sustain extremely high current rates in the order of 15 to 20 amps per gram, enabling ultra fast charging in approximately nine to 14 seconds after 10,000 cycles under the high current rate capacity retention greater than 80% was observed. In other words, what this means is that fast charging with this anode in a lithium ion battery enables these battery packs to be charged 10,000 times and still have 90% of their original capacity. That is groundbreaking. The team fully believe that this is the future of the lithium ion battery. Solid state batteries are not the answer. They think this is. Studies results highlight the potential of the 2D TIB2 nanosheets for facilitating extreme fast charging and extending the life of current lithium ion batteries. The team also found that there is an advantage with nanoscaling bulk materials like TIB2 to attain promising properties, including pseudo capacitive charge storage, excellent high rate cap capability, and superior cyclability. Professor Matsumi outlined the potential long-term effects of their research. He said, such quick charging technology can accelerate the diffusion of EVs and significantly decrease waiting times for charging various electronic devices. We have our findings can stimulate more research in this field, which can eventually lead to the convenience of electric vehicle users being able to charge their vehicles in only a matter of a couple of minutes, lesser air pollution in cities, and less stressful mobile life in order to enhance the productivity of our society. And the team really believes you can start using these batteries immediately in something like a mobile phone. To get to the EV battery stage, more work is needed. But in a mobile phone, they're saying you could potentially charge your iPhone in, say, less than a minute. Is this going to happen? Could. Will it? Well, considering the team have worked out how to make these anodes at a fairly low cost and which are scalable, it's very possible. Now, there's other battery technologies that are talked about on a daily basis. I try to avoid them because often they're simply not scalable. This product is, and that is why it really could work. These kinds of incremental solutions are what are driving battery technology forward and what will result in much cheaper, much more efficient and much longer life battery packs within the next five years. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, my friends, have a great day. Bye-bye.